In this demonstration, I'll show you four examples on how to find the antiderivative of a function. This will serve as part one in this series. An antiderivative is a function whose derivative is the original function. In other words, it is a function that reverses what the derivative does. Another word for antiderivative is integral. The question asks, find the antiderivative of the following functions. We'll start with the first one. Now in a situation like this, what you want to do is increase the exponent by one. And usually what we do when we take the derivative is we decrease it by one. But in this case, we increase it by one. So we have x to the power of four. And then the number that you find after increasing the exponent becomes the denominator, one over four. And another way to write this is the following, x to the power of four over four. Now, if I were to take the derivative of this, we would end up with x to the power of three. However, what if there was a constant beside this? So what if there was a plus 10, for example? How do we take into account an arbitrary constant that might have existed? The way we do this is we simply add the letter C and we denote that C is an arbitrary constant. In question number two, we have the function x to the power of negative two. Once again, we will add a one to the exponent, leaving us with x to the power of negative one. And then you take that number negative one and you put it underneath negative one at the bottom. And the answer to this is negative one over x plus c. Here, we will increase a quarter by one. And if we do that, we end up with five over four as the exponent with the base x. Now, in addition, you're going to take five over four and put it underneath. So you end up with four x to the power of five over four over five. All I did was rearrange the quotient. And I'll show you below in case you're confused. x to the power of five over four divided by 5 over 4. When you divide a quotient, you flip it. So this becomes 4 over 5, hence the 4 and the 5 in the denominator position. And don't forget the plus c. In our last example, they're asking us to find the antiderivative of the following function. We'll start with the first term. This becomes 2 over 9, x to the power of 9. This term becomes 3x to the power of 2 over 2. And the trickiest term of these three is 1. Now, since 1 doesn't have a variable beside it, you have to introduce a variable, x. Then don't forget the c. So there you have it. Four simple examples on how to find the antiderivative of functions. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.